that small plastic container are two metal push pins and they're inserted a distance that's between the positive and negative lead of the 9 volt battery. So you just insert them in there and make sure that they're that distance apart and that should be fine. In the container is going to be some water that has baking soda mixed into it. The baking soda in the water allows electricity to flow between the two metal tips of the push pins. And so now you set them on the leads and the electricity can flow between the two push pins now. And so electricity is flowing through the water and so that's enough energy to break apart the water, make it undergo a chemical reaction so that the H2O gets broken apart into H2 and O2. It's going to be hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And both gases are going to flow up through the test tubes and one of the gases is going to be in one test tube and the other one's going to be in the other one. How do you know which one's which? Well, if you take a look at the amount of gas in each test tube, there's going to be twice as much hydrogen gas as oxygen gas. So you can see in the right test tube, you have twice as much hydrogen gas as oxygen gas. This is how experimenters first learn that the ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms in water is 2 to 1. It's 2 to 1 ratio, thus H2O. Now there's another way you can show water undergoing electrolysis. You can take the same 9 volt battery, hook up two wires to it, and then the end of the two wires you put, you attach either brass wires or copper wires. I don't think it really matters too much. Then you put the two wires into a solution of bromothymol blue, and in the bromothymol blue solution is also some salt, so you can get the electricity flowing through the water much easier. And you can see electricity is flowing between the two wires, and you have bubbles forming, so that's the oxygen and hydrogen gas forming. Now one of the leads is going to produce a different color. There's going to be a chemical reaction happen. So the yellow color indicates that hydrogen ions are being produced and that's becoming more acidic because bromothymol blue solution turns to uh, yellowish and green when there's a higher amount of acid. There's more hydrogen ions. So again, this indicates that again, there's two different chemicals being made, hydrogen and oxygen gas.